I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre from Johnson & Wales University. I'm here today with my fellow student, uh, Deidre Hill. And you know, sometimes you don't want to cook. I mean, it, it's hot outside, you need something refreshing. To me, there's nothing more refreshing than watermelon. And watermelon, you know, a lot of people think is a dessert, but it can be used in a savory aspect too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a half a watermelon. This is a seedless one, that's, that's great. I, uh, I can't understand why anybody would want seeded watermelon anymore, except for spitting maybe, I don't know, uh, for contests. So what I did is I cut it off. I always, here, let me check. I always make sure that I have level fields so it's easy to cut, level, level. That way it doesn't move around. And I'm gonna just cut this since I'm making a big salad. Instead of cutting it like usually you might cut into wedges for dessert to eat, I'm gonna cut all the skin off right here. We're gonna make it bite-sized cubes. And as you see, we have some, what they're called Persian cucumbers. So these are great cucumbers. They're one of the first ones to come out in the summer. They'll be great for pickling, but I love them because they have a great, great flavor. And as you see, I don't peel them, I don't seed them. Instead of red onions, to me I find sometimes red onions to be a little harsh. I love shallots, they have the same color. You're, looking for a nice flavorful color that have that nice purple like the red onion can have, but it is um, not, as, not as sharp. So I'm gonna go, again, I'm gonna look for a flat side. And I'm just gonna go thin, very thin, as thin as you possibly can. So we have some Kalamata olives that I pitted. Sometimes you can buy pitted Kalamata olives, but even if those say they're pitted, you have to be careful. They're, you know, it's a machine. Uh, they don't get 100% of them. They get probably about 98, 99% of them. But for, for some reason, there's always one or two. So I like to drizzle those in. Typically, we add oregano. So we have some fresh oregano. These are some of the first herbs to come out and they're pretty prolific. Once you, if you've ever planted mint and or oregano, they're your friend for life. They will take over whatever in your garden if you don't watch them, but they're super easy to care for and they have such a great flavor. So I like to add some fresh oregano. If you wanted to use dry oregano, that's fine too, but the fresh oregano is really light and it's, it's nice and I love it. And then we have some mint. That's the little variation. And the reason I like mint is because I think mint goes fantastic with cucumbers. Cucumbers are a type of melon almost and uh, they have some of the same flavor profile. So I really consider the two pretty similar. And then the watermelon and mint is a natural. So we'll go really fine as you can with that. So that a little goes a long way. This is a nice chiffonade that goes around. Man, the smell is fantastic. Fresh cut mint. Then we're gonna season a little salt I like to add some fresh cracked black pepper, some olive oil. We're gonna drizzle that on top just a little. Some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna also add a little acidity. I'm gonna also add a little zest. And at the end, we're gonna hand chunk some feta in. We're gonna just gently toss it together. There you go. And you know what I was thinking is to be really nice in your garden or at the market, there's a lot of flowers. Sometimes. There's nasturtiums, marigolds. Right now, I found some marigolds. So you can throw some, make sure they're really super clean. They're edible. And they give a nice added color. We can add a little sprig of mint if we were being fancy. If we're being fancy? Why not, right? <laughs> Another marigold. And there you go a watermelon Greek salad. You can find all our recipes on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre from Johnson Wells University. Let's dig in.